Everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on uh, Tyler Sagan writing an article for the uh, Players Tribune, which I think Derek Jeter operates. That's you know the the new thing out of athletes, you know, write pieces. But and usually I think it's overly cliche, but I think this Sagan piece was um, spot on. You know, I talked about going from you know having to ride this, the bus, the subway, and a twenty minute walk with this hockey bag to uh, you know play hockey to you know play high school hockey in, in Canada, and eventually you know going to the OHL and. You know, in two years, going from being a fourth line in the OHL to winning the Stanley Cup in Boston, you know, it was really a uh, a whirlwind ride. And then, you know, and you know, being in Boston for you know those three years he was here, you know, I got to meet him once. Nice kid, um, immature but nice, you know. But then again, for me to say someone my own age was immature is, you know, hypocritical considering I'm still working on the the growing up thing uh, myself. You know, four or five years later, so. Uh, but, you know, you can see that there was uh, immature on the more of a goofball than anything else. And, um, you know, I just think that going from that situation where he was, you know, in the OHL, big-time scorer, ends up and playing a bit role on a Stanley Cup championship team in one team and then won the Stanley Cup as a teenager, um, you know, that's, that's a bevy of emotions right there for you. And then, you know, going to the stars where, you know, taking the lessons that he learned in Boston – and, um, you know, becoming a, a veteran leader with the Stars has, you know, been a, a huge sort of shift in dynamic form, which is, you know, the evolution of a player. I mean, you know, this the guy's an MVP candidate right now. It's one of the best players in the NHL and really just doing some great things in the Western Conference. And, uh, you know, you can look back on him being written off as a party animal when he was 21, which, you know, I think one thing with these kids is, you know, I'm saying kids, me, 100%. You know, they are. You know, they're, you know, between 19 and 20, 21. I mean, you know, who among us hasn't, you know, had some regrettable decisions during that time frame? And, I mean, you know, the, a guy like Sagan's held to a higher standard because he's a pro athlete, but the bottom line is he's still growing up and, um, you know, there's still, you know, a whole lot of learning to do as you get older. And, uh, you know, that's just the uh, the nature of the beast with growing up, whether you're a hockey player or a college student, whatever you are. Um, and that was the case with Sagan in Boston, and you know he's been able to use what he, again we learned with the Bruins to become a very very important part of the Stars. And you know his um, story it's well worth a read. It's a very very good read, and um, you know really puts a lot of things in perspective in terms of his player development and his maturation on and off the ice. So definitely recommend it. Um, you know tips his valet as well too. Just FYI. But uh, anyway, that's all episode of the Power Play with CJ on Tyler Sagan. Um, it's an article for the Player Tribune. Stay tuned for episode for the season and beyond. Later, guys.